the Laplace transform of the function t squared will produce a function of s according to this integral as Laplace has defined it for really good reasons. Good stuff happens when you have an e to the negative st going off to infinity. Let's see what happens. In this case, we're going to integrate e to the negative st times t squared from 0 to infinity. Now, I hope you caught my last video where integration by parts using a table or uh, Jaime Escalante called it the tic-tac-toe method. Put your polynomial factor here and take derivatives until you can take derivatives no more. Put your exponential, in this case, over here and do antiderivatives until you have just as many. Now, you may have to pause for a minute and just think about where these antiderivatives are coming from with the chain rule and such. So just pause for a moment, make sure you're good. Okay, that's enough pausing. That's enough thinking. I hope you're good there. But here's how it works. You take this times this times a positive times a negative times a positive. And so what we're going to have here is uh, doom, doom, doom. That's going to be a negative 1 over s t squared e to the minus s t. Boom, boom, ooh, it's going to be a minus 2t, 1 over s squared, e to the minus st. And then boom, boom, oh, that's going to be a minus 2 times 1 over s cubed, e to the minus st. We're going to evaluate from 0 to infinity. Now we're just going to use our noodles here and think about what happens as t gets really, really big. As t gets really, really big, now remember these are all s's. Let me... Make sure you don't confuse my s's with phi. These are all s's in this Laplace transform world that we're in at the moment. And so as t goes off to infinity, we have e to the negative infinity. e to the negative infinity. 1 over e to the very, 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 very big is going to be very, very, very small. But you might wonder, but what about t squared? As t goes off to infinity, t squared also goes off to infinity. So we have a numerator that's really, really big. We have a denominator that's really, really big. Now you have to take some time to explore this. I don't have time in this video, but just trust me that an exponentially getting big in the denominator will dominate the quadratic getting big in the numerator, and that fraction will tend towards zero as t goes off to infinity. So yes, as t goes off to infinity, this term goes to zero minus same story here. In fact, here the denominator goes off to infinity. The numerator is just linearly going to infinity. So this also goes to zero. And nothing here except to zero. So nothing but zeros there. Minus when t is zero. Notice zero squared, zero. e to the zero is one, but still zero. Two times zero, zero. e to the zero, one, still zero. So it's funny that after all of that great calculus, lots of stuff happening, you get nothing, 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 nothing. Hey, I'm just going to pause there for a minute because we should appreciate Laplace. You'll see where all this fits in later. But this decision to define the Laplace transform the way he's done it is so stuff like this happens in our work. Now, this last piece, some good stuff happens here. When t is 0, that's just e to the 0, which is 1. So we're going to have a, a, a minus 2 over uh, 2 times 1 over s cubed. So minus 2 times 1 over s cubed. So if you look at all of this, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus a minus. So all of this comes out to be plus 2 times 1 over s cubed, otherwise known as 2 over s cubed. Yeah, the Laplace transform of t squared is 2 over s cubed. Now, I'm going to ask you to pause this video and play around. What if it was a t cubed? t to the fourth, t to the fifth. I hope that you see something happening that as you take derivatives repeatedly, like imagine this was a t cubed, 3t squared, 6t, 6, 0. Imagine it was a t to the fourth, 4t cubed, 12t squared. Uh, 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 I lost 
lost track there. 24T, I lost it there, but you know what I mean. Take derivatives until you get down to zero. Here's what actually happens here. This one will give you six over S to the fourth. Yeah, I don't know if you can, if you caught it here, but this is really two factorial over S cubed. This is really three factorial over S to the fourth. Even this one is really one factorial over S squared. Two, one, three, two, four, three. In general, any power of T is going to produce a Laplace transform, a function of S that is going to be that N factorial over S to the power one more. Notice t third, s to the fourth, t squared, s to the third, t s squared. Even here, it's t to the zero, s to the first. See, this one is really zero factorial over s to the first. Zero factorial is one, by the way. <laughs> so this patterning really does work. The general Laplace transform for t to the n is that I challenge you to play with that for a moment and see if you can convince yourself of that pattern.